In the last lesson, we saw how we can access our newly created HTML file, and we saw how we can start updating the contents of that file in a number of different ways. And within the lesson, within the next few lessons, I'm actually gonna be using my Chrome browser in order to update my HTML, uh, because this way we can actually see what's happening here on the live page. Uh, so this is gonna be a great way to uh, that we don't actually have to flip between the editor and what our HTML code output is going to be. And I'm going to make it slightly bigger here as well so that we can have a better preview of actually what's being displayed out here. Uh, so we see that we've got the full path there. You can also use your editor here. Uh, so it doesn't actually matter because all we're doing is writing to this HTML file. So every good HTML file needs some HTML code. So let's start creating some code. And we saw here when we look at the source code that the, as the browser is actually rendering this out, it's setting this up within an HTML structure. So we've got this HTML opening, HTML closing, we've got this head opening, head closing, body opening, and body closing. And this is what uh, is this is, these are the basics of what HTML is. We've got a series of opening and closing tags and it's essentially building out a structure. So all of our HTML content, all of our HTML code is going between the two opening and closing HTML tags. We've got a head section. So the head section contains meta information, title, links out to some styling, and so on. So this is where you place all of that information that essentially the browser would be using in order to render out that page content. And then actually the page content would be sitting between body, so between the opening body and closing body tags. So this is the proper HTML structure for this hello world too. So let's go ahead and update our code in order to better reflect that. And we're not gonna actually see anything different. All we're gonna be doing is formatting the HTML, the HTML tags, adding those in. And one important thing to note here with HTML tags, they're actually not case sensitive. So I can do something like lowercase, I can do uppercase. So that really doesn't matter, but out of good practice, most of the time you're gonna see it as lowercase because this is the best way to format it. Uh, so you don't wanna have all of these uppercase characters. So stick to the lowercase, even though it's, it's, uh, it doesn't matter what case you're using, stick to the lowercase when you're writing your HTML code, just best practices. Uh, also here, I'm gonna set my body, so wrap it with closing body. So what the idea too is that just keeping in mind whenever you open up a tag, make sure that you close it. So there we go. So now we've got, essentially we've written out our HTML in the same format that our browser is expecting it to look like once it's rendering out some content here in the middle. So now when I refresh it, we actually don't see anything different. If I go into my editor, we see that we've styled it appropriately. And one of the things about editors, and one of the really cool things about editors is that they've got some additional functionality. So stuff that you're not getting within the browser. And you see that we've got these opening and closing chevrons that can open and close uh, the different opened and closed tags. And this is a better way to kind of give you a quick overview of HTML. So let's just cover off once again what we've covered within this lesson. We know that with HTML tags, we're, we're setting up tags and within those tags where we've got content. And you notice as well that we've got tags nested in other tags. So the HTML is the parent tag and this helps the browser understand that to be expecting some HTML content in here. And the first thing it's gonna look at is head. So it's gonna look through whatever content you've placed within the head section. So if you've got something in here, this is where you've got your head contents and then next it's gonna to go to body. So three essential pieces uh, one main container and two essential parts to an HTML page and to your HTML structure. In the next lesson, we're going to show you how you can add some additional meta information and also how you can add some head information so that the browser actually has something more to consume and to actually better understand what type of HTML document 
and what it can be expecting to render out. So this is what's coming up in the next lesson.